Prepare yourself for a captivating journey into the depths of the ocean as we encounter the formidable Barracuda, a savage marine predator whose lethal abilities have the potential to kill a human. Meet the Barracuda, a predator of the seas known for its striking features and ruthless nature also known as Tiger of the Sea. With its elongated body and sharp, tooth-filled snout, this tubular fish commands attention. Sporting a shimmering blue-gray color on its upper side, transitioning to silver and white below, it presents a captivating sight. But don't be deceived by its mesmerizing appearance. The Barracuda is an expert in the art of ambush hunting, relying on its exceptional speed and precision. With bursts of up to 35 miles per hour, it swiftly closes in on unsuspecting prey, leaving little chance for escape. However, this ferocity comes with a drawback, a tendency to mistake shiny objects or even fish caught on spears as potential prey. This makes encounters with humans a cause for caution. Reaching impressive sizes of over 5 feet in length and weighing more than 100 pounds, the Barracuda commands respect in the oceanic realm. Its sheer power and adaptability have contributed to its success as a top predator. Now let's uncover the Great Barracuda's secret and its severe consequences for a human life. In specific regions, this majestic creature has been linked to cases of Ciguatera poisoning, a mysterious affliction triggered by the accumulation of Cigua toxins in the flesh of tropical marine fish. These toxins, produced by minuscule marine dinoflagellates that inadvertently attach to algae, find their way into herbivorous fish. As larger carnivorous species prey upon their fellow reef inhabitants, they unwittingly become reservoirs for higher concentrations of the hazardous ciguatoxin. Afflicted individuals encounter a cascade of symptoms, enduring days of distressing gastrointestinal complications, weakened limbs, and an eerie reversal in their ability to discern temperature sensations. With the potential to linger for weeks, this illness serves as a poignant reminder of the intricate intricacies within marine ecosystems and the inherent risks entailed in the consumption of specific fish. While great barracudas are rarely a threat to humans, their curious and sight-oriented nature can lead to unnerving encounters with snorkelers and divers. These incidents usually arise when barracudas mistake shiny objects such as diving knives for their prey or attempt to snatch fish from spearfishers. Though attacks typically involve a swift strike resulting in lacerations and tissue loss, fatalities are rare. Historical cases document a few unfortunate incidents, including a death in Key West in 1947, another off the coast of North Carolina in 1957, and a well-documented attack on a free diver in Pompano Beach, Florida in 1960. The diver endured two aggressive barracuda bites, causing significant injuries that demanded 31 stitches. However, with simple precautions, such encounters are infrequent and easily preventable. Amidst the fascinating but perilous realm of barracudas, encounters with these formidable predators have left indelible marks. From the documented attack on a free diver in 1960 to the astounding incident involving Nadine Clower, highlighting the powerful and potentially fatal consequences of such encounters. In a startling encounter that left her in disbelief, Nadine Clower described the powerful impact of an aggressive fish that attacked her with unprecedented force. The incident occurred while she was fishing on a rented houseboat with her family in the vicinity of Key Largo. As her brother-in-law hooked a small barracuda, she spotted a large one passing beneath the boat. Intrigued, she hurried inside to grab a video camera, only to be confronted by the larger barracuda lunging at her. The immense fish, estimated to be approximately 8 feet long based on the bite wounds, propelled her back into the cabin, leaving her injured and requiring almost 200 stitches. Medical professionals revealed that the fish's attack came perilously close to severing a critical artery in her pelvis, an outcome that could have proved fatal. This remarkable incident underscores the extraordinary power and danger associated with encounters between humans and barracudas. Barracudas, known for their ferocity and opportunistic nature, employ surprise attacks and rapid bursts of speed, reaching up to 27 miles per hour to swiftly overpower their prey. While adult barracudas often prefer a solitary lifestyle, young and half-grown individuals frequently gather in groups. These formidable predators primarily target various fish species, including jacks, grunts, snappers, small tunas, herrings, and anchovies, often dispatching their victims by biting them in half. Larger prey is torn apart, while smaller species are readily consumed. Barracudas engage in fierce competition with mackerel, needlefish, and occasionally even dolphins for access to prey. 
Typically found in saltwater environments, barracudas tirelessly patrol the waters in search of schools of plankton-feeding fish. Their streamlined silver bodies provide effective camouflage, making it challenging for prey to detect them, particularly when viewed head-on. Relying heavily on their sharp eyesight, barracudas keenly observe any object with unusual colors, reflections, or movements. Once a target is identified, their elongated bodies, complemented by a long tail and matching anal and dorsal fins, facilitate swift bursts of speed to launch a lightning-fast attack, preventing prey from escaping. Barracudas commonly assail schools of fish headfirst, using their powerful jaws to inflict decisive bites. As barracudas age, they tend to prefer solitary swimming, although there are occasions when they may join forces with a group. These coordinated groups may herd schools of fish into confined areas or lead them towards shallow waters for easier hunting and feeding opportunities. The enigmatic reproductive behaviors of barracudas unveil a fascinating cycle that unfolds in the depths of the ocean. While comprehensive documentation of their spawning activities remains limited, it is widely believed that these events occur in offshore waters with some indication of seasonality. In the Florida Keys, for instance, barracudas are thought to breed during the spring. During the spawning process, eggs are released into the open waters, where fertilization takes place and the currents disperse the potential offspring. Upon hatching, the larvae bear little resemblance to their adult counterparts. In a quest for both safety from predators and a reliable food source, these minuscule creatures settle in the sheltered and vegetated regions of estuaries. As they grow to approximately 0.5 inches in length, juveniles gradually adopt a resemblance to miniature versions of adult barracudas. At around 1.2 inches or 3 centimeters, they venture into the open waters within the estuary, ultimately departing from the estuary environment entirely when they reach a size of about 2 inches or 5 centimeters. Throughout their first year of life, these young barracudas find solace within the protective embrace of mangroves and seagrass habitats. It is during their second year that they embark on a transformative journey, migrating towards deep reef areas, where they will reside throughout their adult lives. Within the realm of the Great Barracuda, formidable predators capable of subduing adults are scarce. Only a select few possess the size and swiftness to challenge these apex hunters. Among them are sharks, tunas, and the mighty Goliath grouper, known to engage in the consumption of smaller adult barracudas. However, the vulnerabilities of juvenile barracudas expose them to an array of lurking inshore predators, whose predatory prowess extends to these younger, more defenseless members of the barracuda family. The Great Barracuda possesses a formidable dentition that underscores its prowess as a predator. Within its expansive mouth lies a fearsome arrangement of teeth, consisting of two sets meticulously designed for efficiency. Along the outer edge of the jaw, a row of small razor-sharp teeth awaits, while nestled within these lies a larger set of dagger-like teeth. The teeth, closely packed and triangular in shape, feature sharp edges meticulously adapted for tearing through prey flesh. Notably, the barracuda's long, needle-like teeth fit perfectly into corresponding holes in the opposing jaw, allowing for a secure closure of the mouth. This anatomical adaptation affords little chance of escape for its unfortunate prey. Employing a strategic approach, the Great Barracuda seizes its quarry, consuming smaller victims whole, while larger prey is meticulously sliced into manageable pieces before being swallowed. Such dentition exemplifies the predator's remarkable ability to capture and consume its chosen sustenance. Thank you for joining us on this captivating exploration into the world of barracudas. Don't hesitate to check out more of our videos. Have a nice day!